Top 10, top I got a top 10, 10. Top 10. Got my motivation high for my top 10, my top 10. Gotta learn from the wise women and men Need motivation? Watch the top 10 with Believe Nation. Hey, it's Evan Carmichael, and this channel was created to help you overcome the number one challenge that is holding you back, a lack of belief in yourself. You watch these videos because you know there's something greater inside you as well. You've got Michael Jordan level talent at something. So get ready to commit fully, make money, and master sales with Dan Pena and my take on his top 10 rules of success, volume eight, to give you the belief that you need. Okay, let's kick it off with rule number one, commit fully. Uh, when Josh was, uh, um, he had a 60 hour a week job and he was doing QLA 70 hours a week. That doesn't give him much room for sleep, does it? But you'll say, well, he was 17, 18. You don't need sleep when you're 17, 18. You, will already, you already got a reason why he, you can't work 130, 40 hours a week, that you need sleep. He cut back to three hours a night's sleep, the guy you just listened to, and then he couldn't take it. He only lasted a few weeks at three hours a night's sleep, and so he had to go back to four hours. When you know, it's like when you were in lust with that person, you know, you wanted to f all night, f in the toilet, in the car, in, in the closet. When you, f when you figure out that every hour you sleep, you're not making money, you'll never sleep again. Rule number two, focus on making money. Now, money's not everything. It's the only thing anybody keeps track of, but it's not everything. But for those of you who want to save the world, go find a product, an idea that will change a billion lives, and by, by definition, one, you'll save the world, and two, you'll be a billionaire. Because you see Gates and Buffett and uh, a number of the illuminaries that have made a lot, a lot of money in current day, uh, um, they, they've made a lot of money, now they're trying to save the world. Bill Gates wasn't running around with a placard, as they say in this country, around the embassy about save the rainforest when he was 17, 18, 20 years old. And we have some save the world guys in the, in the audience. And we have save the world guys in every audience. Rule number three, master sales. Our children uh, uh, finished undergraduate school and they both worked before they went on to graduate school. I told both Kelly and uh, Derek, make 300 cold calls a day and you'll lead the nation in sales or in anything you do, 300 cold calls a day. And that's getting through to somebody, not leaving a message, blah, blah, blah. Oh, sh and they both did. You cannot, even if you're a retard like you guys, if you make 300 legitimate cold calls, you'll make a million dollars a year, no problem. And that's not a lot of money, and I, I say that uh, begrudgingly, but to most people it is. That's, 12, that's 1,500 cold calls a week. That's 6,000 cold calls a month. That's 72,000 cold calls a year. If you can't make a million out, you ought to kill yourself, metaphorically speaking. Rule number four, be selfish. I tell the kids, you're gonna hear something here that you, not hear, you haven't heard growing up. I want you to be more selfish to fulfill your dreams. And for those people that are getting in the way of your dreams, uh, the, uh, don't be more selfish to them, just extract them from your life. Mm. It's a lot easier. And uh, my first wife or my uh, current wife for, uh, for many years were here to tell you, they'd say, uh, we, we worship the ground Dan walks on, but nobody loves Dan more than Dan. Mm. My love for my husband is transitory compared to his love for himself. Mm. Nobody loves me more than me. Mm. And uh, that's how you be the best husband, the best student, the best father, the best brother, the best grandchild, the best citizen in my judgment, is love of yourself. Of course, that's self-esteem, that's self-confidence. Also, if you wanna have more confidence, check out my 254 series, they're free. The links to join are in the description below. You want people with a like mind and it, that are better than you, smarter than you, more intelligent than you to get on your bus. But no one does know initially, up front. You have to try, you have to swing at the plate. A kid like you, 
If you had to keep track of seven days a week, 24 hours a day, what you do. Rule number five, have a tough skin. When you think about what other people think, say about you, et cetera, but we really haven't dwelled on, <clears throat> because it, it's a waste of time, uh, how much time you waste worrying. And of course you worry because you have thin skin. Uh, car, um, uh, Adenauer, the former mayor of Berlin, uh, said uh, that thick skin was a gift from God. Thick skin. He was a politician, a very successful politician. And uh, the uh, uh, Sally... <clears throat> calls me rhino skin um, because it takes extru I mean I can't remember the last time uh, that somebody said something that uh, well I can't ever remember since I'm a kid somebody saying something that hurt me I mean hurt my feelings I, I, I just I think back about it you know and I can't I can't remember and I'm, I'm sure everybody in this room can remember somebody saying something about them that hurt your feelings I can't remember, and you can remember, because uh, I just, you know, uh, I wasn't raised that way. Rule number six, follow your heart. If you want to go back home, it's to do what? I, I don't know. I want to become wealthy. Well, I mean, it's easier to become wealthy here than in Romania. Although we have Romanian mentees, millionaires. We do, but it's harder. Here it's easy. Well, no, it's not easy, easy, but it... Lithuania, Hungary, Romania, those countries, it's harder. Oh, the best deal in 25 years was just done by one of my Hungarian mentees, and he just did the second best deal in 25 years on top of that deal, and he's a little sh uh, uh, Peter, if you're listening, I mean, I mean, uh, he didn't have enough self-confidence to brush his own teeth. I mean, and now he's a wealthy guy on the cover of Hungarian business. <laughs> And he did it without paying one bribe. <laughs> and that's a big deal in that part of the world. So, but I mean, you got to follow your heart. I don't mean a lovey, gushy way for your mom. I mean, you got to follow your heart. Because in 25 years from now, your mother's going to be dead. And you're going to have a regret that you spend any time with her. Yep. Yep. I'm in the regret minimization business. What are you going to tell your grandkids during the greatest transformation of wealth in the history of the planet what were you doing other than having a thumb up your ass rule number seven be a firm leader be firm but fair but firm mm -hmm. because uh, people appreciate their their the, the kids don't uh, lack uh, ingenuity what they lack is leadership and now being a firm leader uh, is considered politically incorrect mm -hmm. showing tough love they forget the tough part, I and they only the, the, remember the, the love part. The book you recommend, uh, Tough Minded Management. Correct, right? by uh, Joe Batten. Joe, yeah, it's still a very relevant book, I it think. It is. And Joe Batten was the mentor of Ross Perot, yeah. a billionaire back in the day. Uh, and he also wrote a, a great a book. book. A little book uh, my Principles, I think. Yeah. yeah that's a, my life and my principles. Yeah. No, not many people read it, because it's not a very popular no, no. book. No, no, and he also wrote a book, book uh, Tough Minded book. Leadership. Yeah. And those are the only two books you need on uh, management and leadership. Rule number eight. Be hard. Our kids were here right now. My daughter would say, Jesus Christ. The world is f***ed up, Dad, for another reason, though. Why anybody would want to be raised by you. They, you have no idea what it was to be your child. And I'm, I'm sure I don't. I don't. And my daughter, as I, I think I mentioned yesterday, my dad treats everybody the same, like s***. And I'm hard. And hard works. World-class coaches are hard. We have a, a guy in the... Uh, Hall of um, Fame, uh, my most successful mentees. He says, I haven't been beat this hard since I was uh, the number two guy on the Austrian ski team, arguably one of the best ski teams in the world. And then he blew out his knee and his coach used to beat him. I mean, physically beat him. Now, I can't get away with that anymore, but uh, the, uh, most of you needed a beating growing up. You just did. And most of you, your parents, your parents weren't, weren't trained to, to produce high-performance kids. You, you and I both know it. You and I both know it. We've had, we've had grandfathers, daughters, granddaughters. And we've had uh, uh, sons uh, um, and fathers in the seminar room. And when you ask the grandfather, I did the best we know how, ask the mother, you don't know what you don't know. 
Ask the kid. They f me up. You don't know what your kids really think about you. I do. I get their emails. Most of your kids are embarrassed by you. In some cases, I'm sorry to say, ashamed of you. Rule number nine, get in the right business. I'm 31, I own my own business. Um, we make about 120 grand a year, give or take, um, which I think is very low. I have another idea I might, I might do, uh, which I think could make maybe a million, but Am I just, should I just abort everything and just Well, over? most of you that have businesses in the room should go home and turn the key. Does everybody understand that? Close them down. Don't open up Monday. I can say that I don't even have to look at your numbers. <laughs> turn the key. Adios, Something new. Because most of you are living quiet lives of desperation. Most of you are living hand to mouth Paycheck to paycheck. That's a hell of an existence. I used to be there, believe me. I know what that feels like. You know, and, uh, but if you're not in a big margin, low hanging fruit, if you're not in the new economy, if you're not in healthcare, if you're not in telco, if you're not in uh, um, cybersecurity, if you're not in uh, radiology, if you're not in the, the things that building infrastructure, building roads, building bridges, you're Thank you're you. just you might as well blow metaphorically, you might as well just blow your brains out. I, because uh, Sally, she says, "God damn it, Dan! You said remember what the lawyers told us." Uh, so you know, the lawyers, you know. Nice. <laughs> And rule number 10, the last one before a very special bonus clip, is improve your communication skills. People with the best communication skills do best at this. And most of your communication skills suck. Most of the dips, retards, I don't mean retarded in that sense, retards watching this on YouTube have no communication skills. At one time I had piss poor communication skills. They used to throw plates at me when I talk, go to a rotary club to give a speech. Can you imagine? They threw plates at me. Your feelings would be hurt. Now I've got a special bonus clip from Dan on how to step up that I think you're gonna enjoy. But before that, it's time for the three point landing questions. Let's go from just watching a video to taking action. Here we go. Question number one, where do you need to improve your communication skills? Number two, how can you be a more firm leader? And number three, where do you just need to follow your heart? And if you're gonna take some immediate action after watching this video, give me a hashtag believe down in the comments as well. Most of the people managing money, wealth today, have never seen a bad market. They went around in 87. I have. But all of the guys that have are dead, got dementia, or not interested anymore. <laughs> There are gonna be more opportunities when everything falls to shit. But it, it, takes, it takes balls. I mean, you gotta step in and you may have to put your whole net worth on the line. And then because you stop playing to win and you start playing not to lose. I've been there. If you want more Dan Pena, check out the top 50 rules video I made on him. The link is right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. Adolf Hitler might be the highest performance guy that ever was born on the planet. When you decide that you really want to invoke permanent change, 